Hi everyone, I'm Rita Peterson with Everything Homemade and we're in my garden this morning with my son who is 10, this is Orion, and I just want to say a big thank you to my um, seven-year-old daughter who is filming. So way to go there, Nova. So I'm going to show you today how to um, harvest your squash, how to harden off your squash. When is it ready to um, cut off? Now I'm dealing with spaghetti squash, so you can take a lot of these um, hints like hardening off your squash to a lot of other squashes. Now with the color, it's going to change um, to what squash you are going to be growing. Now I have the sun hitting our face right now. So Nova is, I hope she can actually see the screen that she's filming because actually the sun is reflecting off of her. So, so be patient with her. She's really trying to hard to get this all in. Now it's a beautiful day. It's September 1st. And what I did was I've actually hardened off squash here. So Nova, if you want to come and get a closer look, um, so they can get a closer look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, or I move, move back just for a second. I'm going to show you what squash look like when they are done hardening off and then I'm going to show you which squash we should cut from the vine and we're going to go through the whole process. So take a look here. You see how yellow this is? This is finished squash. Now this has been hardening for two weeks now here on the racks. You notice that the stems and you can see it especially on these ones here, the greens coming out of the stems and they're drying up so I'm actually gonna store these ones now this is the color you're looking for on your vines and this tells you yes I am done okay so this is the process what you want to do is find ripe ones Orion the one beside you here let's take a look now spaghetti squash come in two different colors they come in your typical grocery store look but they also grow green when they grow green you are literally looking for a hue. Now back up a little bit, Orion, so we can get the sun on this squash. Because you can actually see it yellow. It's not just the sun hitting the squash. It actually has a yellow hue within the green. And this one is ready. So Orion, why don't you go chop that off for us? Get that in there, Nova. So he's going to chop it off. And you just chop it right at the top. Can you get that? Yeah, I'll hold it. Right there? Yeah. Give her. Ooh! There you go! That's Look at the size of that squash. And you can tell, especially here, it's a bit yellow and that says, I'm done. So what we're going to do is take the squash that are ready and we're gonna move it to the rack over here. So come over here, Nova. So what I like to do, we're at the end of the season, is I like to make space. And I like to look at my vines and I literally start cutting my vines and making room because we're at the end of the season. There are all these small squash here and flowers aren't going to make anything more. So good pig food, hey you guys? Do you want me to cut this one off for you? Nope. So as I'm doing this, take a look. You see this squash here? It's smaller. You see how green it is compared to this one on the vine. This one is done. Ooh, my scissors. Oh, Ryan, yours must be stronger than mine. Yeah, you're going to have to use yours. Can I have yours? I, mean, I obviously, those ones, this one here. There you go. Okay, you see that, you guys? And you see this. This one's done. So what happens is, when I take, I took all these 17 ripe ones off two weeks ago, which got these ones to ripen. I'll take off now another ripe, and we'll get these ones going. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to just stack all our ripe squash up here. There's a ripe one. I'm just going to push that one away. I'm going to trim this up so this shelf can be used for ripening squash. So let's take a look. Look one. underneath here, Nova. Look. Look what your brother just pointed out. No, I'm pointing at that speckled one, Mom. Oh, well, this one's good too. Okay, so hardening off. 
So I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to give these to my son. Go ahead, Orion, start walking around, start cutting, and okay. bring them here. Okay. okay, over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut all the ones off, put them up here. Then what is the next question I get is what you want to do is leave them in the sun for two weeks. That's right. So I literally leave the squash on my um, top rack so the slugs don't get it. You could also take this in the greenhouse if you don't have a setup like mine somewhere where they can be in full sun. What happens is it starts hardening this outer layer, kind of like um, hardening off garlic or onion. You harden off, you dry out this layer so it stores. Now if I take my hand, look how easy it was to mark this. I mean I'm not even trying. Okay, it's really soft. Now back up Nova and let's go to these ones here. Now they're a little bit damp because they're drying in the sun, but let's take this one. I'm doing the exact same thing and I'm not making any marks. This here is nicely dried or hardened off. I'm not marking it. The, the outer is hard. And this is, see, I can continue. I mean, I mark it, but I was pressing pretty hard there. I mean, I'm going like this. Nothing's happening. I just want to really demonstrate this for you guys. And take a look here. I'm marking it up. I can see it now. I hope you guys can see it. Um, but that's how I kind of can tell. The other thing is, if you if that's not that great, look at the difference. This is a fresh stem cut. This is a stem that is drying up. Okay, so it takes about two weeks. Now I'm doing um, this right now because we're having what we're calling an open September in northern Alberta. There is no chance of frost. A lot of times we can have frost already. That's right, end of August, frost, your garden's done. But then the next two weeks we're actually having between that 18 and 24 degrees still, which is amazing. Which means that I literally get to extend my season probably close to the end of September, which is actually buying me some precious time. So as we're doing this, basically you harden off your squash. Then the other most important is when you take your squash inside, you want about 14 degrees Celsius temperature. So I like the bottom of a closet, um, somewhere where it's not going to get really cold or really hot. And I've had spaghetti squash store for six months. I know when you go on the internet, sometimes it says, yeah, spaghetti squash does one to two months maximum. I don't believe that a single bit because if you harden these off properly, I had hardened them off in September and have eaten spaghetti squash in March and it was delicious. Okay, it was not molded. If you do it properly, it does last. Now, we have what we call a bumper crop harvest this year. We have 17 over here. There is at least 17, at least 17 more. Um, Oh, Ryan asked me, is this one ready? No, it's not. It's too green. Um, and I mean, this is just a blessing absolutely from our Father in Heaven. This, you know, we can have squash once a week, once or twice a week. That means that for that supper, I didn't have to buy any grains or potatoes or something, which is awesome. So the other important thing that I want to want you to notice now if you've been following my channel and updates you realize that I have chopped my squash about a month ago we packed my squash so it wouldn't start um, vining into my carrots here but what it did also as I hacked it it forced the plant to put the energy into the squash that was already um, on the plant so any, any squash that were about this size actually got chopped off fed to the pigs and and actually and some were fed to the chickens to peck and uh, so we just really put the energy because we only have really three months of growing season so we need to really push our plants so when we trim our plants all the way around it pushes that energy into the fruit get it ripening which got those ripened we're taking off another bunch and the leftovers 
if they are green before the frost, we'll just pull them and eat them immediately um, within a month because they won't store. But there's nothing gone to waste. So that's important with squash and uh, getting your squash. Now, um, if you're doing any other squash, the same rule applied. If you um, pull the ones that are done, harden them off, it'll get the other ones growing faster. That rule applies to tomatoes, to any kind of um, plant that's bearing multiple fruit. If you have some that are basically done, pull that off, get the other ones growing, especially when you've got such a um, short growing season. Now, the, and I will also note that I will pick the best squash. This is a nice size squash here. Um, this one over here is a nice squash. I'll pick one of these. I will pick a couple of the best squash and take the seeds off. And that's where all these plants have come from. They were actually seeds that I saved. So I'm always growing um, seeds from the plants that are actually growing in my garden. It actually climatizes the seeds for our region much better. So that's a little um, talk about hardening squash. If you have any questions, you know what, comment. I do go through them once a week. I answer everyone as, po as much as possible. And Nova, if you wanna take a look, um, walk around, show them the whole entire plant. You can even walk around this carrot row, get it all in. So take a look. I'm just gonna show you guys. There's a nut, there's a green squash there. I'll be right there. There's another green one here. Okay. Okay. Let me just see this for a second. So this one's just speckled on right here, and here and here. Yeah. There's four of them. Are they all right? Uh, no, leave those ones on. Okay, so okay. Take, a, take a look. I'm going to get an overview here. Look at the squash plants. So this, I had a question. A lot of people were looking at my rack system and really curious on how it would actually work. It works phenomenal in a garden. One, the sl very little slug damage besides the bottom, but the slugs don't damage a lot. They grow nice and neat um, on the racks. And uh, we got tons of squash. Take a look. So definitely, I encourage if you guys can get creative and get a rack system set up of some kind of shelves, um, you won't be disappointed at all when you're doing squash watermelons I mean don't just limit it to that cucumbers other plants anything I had one YouTube commenter said could this work for tomato plants absolutely it could work for tomato plants the only thing that I warn is that you make sure that these spaces here are big enough for the stems to go through but this here is phenomenal okay you guys that will be it Thank you so much. Hey, Nova. Um, thank you so much, you guys. And uh, we are going to um, continue with chopping off all, all the ones that are ripe and getting them to harden off. So we'll see you on the next video.